Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. We've just done a quick flip-flop. We've gone from Dustin to Jonathan. We're going to bang out one more discussion from the team at Convoy Home Loans. How are you doing, Jonathan? I am all right. I was uh, held hostage on the uh, La Cienega, so. <laughs> yeah. L.A. traffic, folks. L.A. traffic sucks. Uh, well, hey, one thing you did at the end of the third video is you actually had you took the time to ask a question that you got from a one rental at a time subscriber. I always love to hear uh, what the channel is doing, right? I love the fact that people are reaching out to you, having real discussions. I thought maybe you might have other questions that you might want to ask me or other topics you want to rap about. So I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, it, it is really kind of a, a great community in terms of the, the, the people that you have watching because they're all, like we say time and time again, so educated and um, more than just uh, wanting the transaction or anything, they have a true desire to learn. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that really does say a lot. I mean, obviously to you, to your teaching, but also to the people that follow, like, you know, they, they really truly want to learn how to, you know, become Mike Zuber. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it was funny. Cause I, yesterday I was on the phone uh, with the same person that was um, talking about and asking about short-term rentals and why mm -hmm. you never do them. Um, I was like, you know what, if I were to describe you, it'd be like the, uh, the Warren Buffett of, yeah. uh, <laughs> of wow. the, the rental space you know i, I appreciate uh, that thank you yeah that, that's a compliment that's a compliment and a half it, no it is it is because you know his whole method and you know is long-term rental or long-term loans hold <laughs> it um you know get good companies write good deals right buy them when they're good price yeah. um, and you know i think it, it aligns very very neatly um but you know with a lot of the new kind of market changes and everything going on obviously we kind of dustin kind of recapped on the lower rate dscrs that allow people to stay competitive we mm -hmm. talked about short-term rental loans um a few other products that you know are rolling back out um because remember the rest of the market is very very afraid still of uh high leverage debt yes. so you know still a lot of lenders won't do 80 percent on on um investment properties um however as of today, we just were able to get 85% loan to value DSCR mm. back. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Th th there's a lot of things going on. Kind of what, what I would summarize here is if you're in the if you're in the housing business, housing market collectively, real estate agents, builders, lenders like yourself, uh, the next 15 months, so the rest of this year, or I guess 16 months, and all of next year are going to suck if you put your head in the ground. What I see you and Dustin doing at Convoy is you're constantly innovating and creative, right? We talked about an air, uh, a short-term rental product. We talked about your DSCR loan and warehouse line. I like how you guys are innovating and bringing new product. That is going to serve you really, really well. The other thing that I think is, and I talked to Matt, the mortgage guy yesterday, conventional lending is, uh, it, dude, rates are going to go up every day. If you like it, lock it, which stands. But um Owner rock purchasing, it's going to collapse. We're going to see a 50% drop in transactions. And ultimately, what's going to happen, I believe, is investors are going to step up and be the right answer because there are some people that have to sell. And when you find a motivated seller and you have to sell and you create a win win situation, deals will get done. It's going to take time. It's going to take time for motivated sellers to raise their hand and say, Hey, I'm over here. Help me out. I got to go. I got to go. Um, but I, I think non QM lenders are going to be the winners. I think Fannie and Freddie, they're going to back away from investment loans. And, um, so I, I'm, I'm excited by our weekly conversations. I'm constantly surprised by like, you guys created a new product. Um, you know, you set up infrastructure, that short-term rental, right? Where you took that, uh, $400,000 Joshua tree that rented 1100 long-term to 3,500 genius that you guys set up that infrastructure. So pretty cool. It's fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, and and that I think that's the point of why we made Convoy. When Dustin and I first started Convoy, and I think we said this on our first episode, but we specifically created Convoy to be an innovative leader in terms of focus on investors, focus on the untapped groups, you know, luxury homes, investment properties, all of that. Where mm -hmm. the rest of the, you know, used to be the banks, used to be you know other people, but not a lot of people were venturing into it. Everyone was worried about and you know, wanting to eat off the conventional FHA VA space. And well, for two um, years, it was good eating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the next two years, not so much. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. But a lot of those lenders that were focused on that are now 
shutting down. They're now, exactly. yeah, their overhead is too high. They don't have, they're, they're done. Some of them closed up already. Exactly. So, I mean, you know, a lot of uh, people that have been asking about new products and such, that's why, you know, we try to, you know, make that exposed as much as possible because honestly, you know, going back to the 15% down 85% loan to value DSCR, like for example, right. That went away. We had it at 10%. Um, that went away. 15% was there. 15% went away and now it came back a little bit. Mm. Um, so, you know, that's another solution. Like you said, people are going to start saying, Hey, you know, I need, I need to sell, I need to get out of here. And, um, you know, it's the ability to be able to leverage, you know, even if it's a higher rate, even if it's, mm -hmm. if it's, you know, a certain type of deal, you're able to leverage better and, um, and utilize it to purchase these properties that are coming on the market. Yeah. One of our first conversations got a lot of views. We might as well hit it here again. You're, you still do kind of two flavors of 40 year mortgages, right? 40 year sure. fully am. And then the 10 year IO 30 year. Let's talk about that again. Cause I don't think people realize that somebody could, you could lock in a 40 year rate. I mean, that's yeah. crazy to think about. So it's um, there's two options for the 40 year, 40 year fully amortized, which means principal and interest from day one um, on the monthly payments. And then 40 year, IO, which is 10 years of interest only followed by a 30 year fixed fully amortized in both, both, 40 years. both yeah. cases rate never changes. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, whether and, it's principal and interest or interest only. Yeah. And then is that available only for investors, only owner, -oc, both who, who can qualify for that? Everyone. We can do it on anything. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I, mean, I hope people are hearing that. Yeah. Um, what, what else? I mean, how about uh, bridge loans? We talked about that a little bit, you know, kind of hit that again, what it is, why it is. Yeah. Um, bridge loans, I think are being, again, used more and more lately um, mm -hmm. just because people are getting better deals, but they want to, let's say, fix it up and rent it out for a mm -hmm. long term. So a bridge again, like it, it's a short term loan. It's not made to be long term. Um, the benefit of a bridge uh, most times is we can add in and finance the rehab cost as well. So you can find, you can do the acquisition, do the rehab, merge it together into one loan, pay interest only for, let's say 12 months, 18 months or 24 months. And then once you have, you know, tenants in, everything's done, then you can stabilize it with a long-term loan, either with a 30 year fixed or a 40 year fixed mm -hmm. um, and kind of, you know, do the recycling of that every time. And a bridge with rehab financing allows you to have higher leverage. So that means that you might be able to buy something with 10% down with 15% down just because you're financing the rehab as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, going back to our video about loan to cost and um, you know, you can go 90% loan to cost 85% loan to cost um, as long as the ARV is going to be high enough where it's like the new loan that you're going to get is less than 75% of the after repair value. Yeah. Yeah. What other kind of conversations have you had with one rental at a time fans? I know you're getting a lot of people reaching out was awesome. What, what other topics come up? I mean, um, you know, the, the other things that we're hearing obviously right now in, I think the LA market or just the market in general is some um, rents are just not uh, cash flowing positive yeah. on the DCR. So um, for those, there's a couple options. One you know, we can still do DSR ratios as low as, you know, basically zero, like mm -hmm. no ratio. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there's also products that are on the market now where, you know, you can do basically not even, they don't even care about the ratio. They wouldn't even care about the ratio. Mm -hmm. So you can, there, you know, it's a higher rate, it's a, but it's a 30 year oh, fix. As you would think. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, it allows you to purchase, um, you know, properties with seller financing or with, exactly. you know, 25% down and you can leverage the two together and find which product works best for you. But that's why you got to reach out because we have to, um, we have to consult. There's so many different options and I hate the answer that um, people ask like, Hey, sometimes why can't you just give me a, a, a rate or a program? I'm like, well, it really just depends on what you're looking to do and the deal that you're yeah. writing. No, that, and that, well, Frank, let's be very clear. The reason you're on this channel and you come back every week is because you want, you want to talk about their deal. That's why you're here. Anybody, I mean, lots of people reach out to me and go, hey, you know, I get better rates. You guys are just, you're, you're quoting gobbledygook, right? You're quoting five points up front. I mean, it's just, I, I understand the game. The reason you guys keep coming back is because I'm hearing from people that reach out to you. Like, yeah, they ask me questions about my deal, right? The, people that come to you, again, they, they tell me after they talk to you a lot of time, right? I came to them and I, you know, I came to Jonathan and I thought I needed X, 
we talked about my deal and X actually is not a great option. It's really Y. Mm -hmm. So please keep doing that. Please keep consulting, asking questions. You're the expert here. You're the one that know the lenders. You're the one with the warehouse line. You know what makes the most sense. So keep asking questions. Exactly. And and sometimes Jonathan say no. It doesn't make sense. The it's a bad deal. Don't buy it. It's an alligator. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I, and you know I try to be as nice as possible. I'm not as blunt saying like it's a bad deal, but I'll tell <laughs> them, I'll, I'll just kind of show them. Hey, I don't know if this yeah, will. Really this doesn't work. pencil. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this will really work out, or the, the you know they might just come to the realization because the loan just looks so bad yep, that that's you know, and good. I just. Yeah, I show them the option. I'm like, look, this is what it looks like. And they're like, oh, it doesn't look like a, a good deal. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, there's a lot of, unfortunately, because people are desperate for business right now, there's a lot of people oh, saying the, that. The do. lending space today? Yeah. It's uh, it's used car salesman time. Yeah. There's people desperate. And when they're desperate, no. And that's why I come to Convoy. That's why you keep coming back because... You, you'll walk from a deal if it doesn't make sense, or at least you yeah. let the let the the buyer know. And that's what one rental at a time is a community. We're going to be around for a long time. We're doing daily stuff on purpose. So, yeah, what one loan, one bad loan can ruin your reputation. So don't do it. Absolutely, absolutely. So how can people reach out if they want to run a scenario by you and see what's what? Um, email private client at convoyhomeloans.com and uh, let us know you came from Orat. There you go. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thank you.